Morning everybody, drop the car keys. So where am I going today? Well hopefully back up to Haworth, have a look at the uh, the old cemetery. But I have plans, although the plans seem to be going a little bit skew if this morning. It's um, It's been one of those mornings where you cannot find anything. Um, and it's so annoying, you know, when you lose your car keys and uh, you can't remember where you put your wallet and other things and uh, they kind of get you back up for a little while. But we're going off to Haworth and hopefully I intend to try to communicate with Spirit. I want to go back to two places in uh, the Haworth Cemetery. Uh, the other thing is, is that I want to do a few tests relating to connecting to spirit i have downloaded several apps and i've been doing that for a long time and um, and i play with them but a lot of the time i have a tendency to think this is a load of rubbish or this is nonsensical the others uh, are kind of iffy you don't know whether they're uh, legit uh, you kind of get in things that resound to your benefit, but then they could with many other people. So with apps, I uh, have a tendency to use them as playthings. So I'm going to have a bash at doing an app um, or two and see if I get anything within the area of the graveyard. So today we're going to see where we are, see where the day takes us. Although I do not want to be out in this heat. Um, it's... Uh, it's 9.15 a.m. and I'm already baking. So
Right, I've just entered into what's called Parsons Field at the back of um, Howarth Cemetery or Graveyard, uh, which is uh, built around Howarth Church. Now I've turned on my first app on my phone called Spirit Talker. And the first word to come on to this app was the word hunting. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yes, um, I am in a field. Uh, is it a coincidence? I am in a field surrounded by thousands of fields um, and the word hunting has a kind of a coincidence about it. Yes. The next word to come up was closer. Yes, I need to get closer to the graveyard in order to start trying to link with spirit. So there's another coincidence. The words my neck came up next. My neck uh, could be a reference to, uh, which is a sign at the bottom of the graveyard, where the last man in England was uh, hung uh, for sheep stealing. So is that a, a good coincidence there? The next is we're gathering. Obviously, um, this graveyard is reputed to have between 40 and 44,000 um, dead bodies in that graveyard. Uh, I can't take it any further than that. I was executed. I was executed. <laughs> ah dear, it gets better. Um, the word atmosphere, yes, there is a strange atmosphere. I feel kind of um, down or ill or strange. It's a, str it's a strange sensation and it's getting better. The word painful, yes. I have just been talking um, about this guy who was executed for sheep stealing, last man in England. My bones, yes, there are uh, an awful lot of bones here in this uh, cemetery as i've just said graveyard dead bodies obviously that's true so my bones i was executed painful yes if you were executed it would be painful atmosphere uh, yes i've just talked about that so everything the, this this spirit app called spirit talker is uh, doing quite well at the moment i'll turn the screen around <laughs> it has now come up and said I'm on video. Yes, you're on video because uh, my last video I put out was um, uh, showed. I actually filmed the uh, the plaque that talked about this individual. What's next? Predict. I cannot predict anything, uh, nor can I understand uh, the meaning of that word. So this uh, this app is doing quite well. Right, something very odd has happened just now. My uh, my camera has totally stopped recording and turned on to photography mode and started taking individual pictures spirit playing around with me i would expect so i'm really here um if this is to do with the gentleman who was uh, executed is he trying to connect through me um the word wrong has just come up is it something i've just mentioned where i uh, i said the wrong thing um i'm from the 1800s that is correct a bad spirit is uh, this individual saying there's a bad spirit around me obviously there are always bad spirits in a place like this please take care yes i can identify with those words visitor there just in front of me is a visitor center which belongs to or the old bronte home um, and i've just passed the visitor center which uh, is an annex to that um, bronte parsonage and i actually had some words uh, or a feeling that a female was talking to me a female spirit and i got that uh, there was some sort of unhappiness about it that it was what i would class as a, a carbuncle something that wasn't needed wasn't wanted wrong. um this this spirit app is doing quite well uh, as I said, I did um, pick up on the fact that it was what um, I, they classed through me as something that wasn't really in keeping with their wishes. Uh, and that's what I got as I walked past. Now I've come past the visitor centre and sat down. Something's wrong. I am not sure what that is about. I will keep um, plodding with this Spirit Talker app, which is quite uh, a good app, uh, because it's, it's what I call as near as damn it to my situation. 
in this area so max out of 10 so far i will give it eight and see where we go from here now i uh, move on and check with the next app and see what that does okay my next spirit app um, at the moment it's just a lot of garbled noise um, but maybe it needs some time to tune itself in um, i'm going to ask for the spirits around me if you are you can come through me through this box i come in peace and love and understanding if there is anybody with me please feel free to talk through this uh, voice box can you manipulate this box for, for your own benefit is there anybody there that wishes to talk to me i'm getting nothing at the moment other than garbled uh, hissing I'll move closer to the graveyard and see if anything transpires. Right, here I am working with Spirit Talker again in a different place. Edwin. Oh. Edwin? Now I suppose my job is to look round 44,000 dead bodies and see if I can find Edwin. Joking aside. If you get a name, it may be accurate, but how can you hope to find uh, an Edwin in a uh, place like this? Mary and Sarah, yes. Sir. Okay, I've now got Pearl. So, where it was accurate before, it's just throwing out um, oddballs, what I call oddballs. But we'll see where we get from here. Um, just keep my hopes um, on the ball. It would be nice if you could actually interact with it by simply saying, OK, Edwin, where are you? And then get a response. Eliminate. Eliminate? Edwin! Talk about luck. Guess what? Lucky who's up there? Edwin Robinson. Edwin Robinson Merrill of Longlands, born February 13th, 1849 and died in January 27th, 1904. Also of Mary, wife of the above named Edwin Robinson Merrill. Tell me that that's not accurate. Can you see it? Edwin, bottom name, first name that came up. So this... Uh, has just proved it's worth good on you Edwin now I've got to find Pearl I never thought <laughs> I never thought to turn around and have a look at the grave that I'm sit I'm actually sitting on the wall is that legitimate I'm now looking for the name Pearl if Edwin was right behind me then maybe I'm going to be lucky and find Pearl but I doubt it I think that's pretty cool this app is proving its worth this is a ghost tube app you'll see that uh, there's a little figure jumping around and then if you uh, rotate it another one there you go will suddenly appear this is where it becomes a plaything a toy only when you can uh, see something that doesn't have a tree a lamppost a gravestone or anything um, physical sticking up and then something like what you're seeing now comes and I have proof of that you can guarantee that it is 100% accurate so this one for me is just a plaything. but you never know your luck in the big city there you go I've got two but then I'll re oh I've got three if only you could guarantee a 100% accuracy wherever you go. But this isn't. Gets you thinking though, doesn't it? There you go. Somebody busy having a dance. John Travolta, eat your heart out. <laughs> so what do I think now of all the apps I've used? I've just tried another one and I gave up even attempting to, uh, to use it. Um, Non-responsive, non-productive. Um, that's six apps 
yeah, six, six or seven apps I've uh, um, tried to work with. There are two out of the six, and in my uh, in my past I've used others that were non-productive. But this, um, but <laughs> I can still hear it. What is it saying? Hi everyone. Yeah, whatever. This particular app is uh, very accurate um, at certain times, but don't guarantee that it will uh, keep doing that. As for the um, the area, as I said, it was uh, a little bit different today, a little bit more colourful, um, and maybe it's something to do, as I said earlier, to do with the weather. Once the um, the weather changes, it, it, the energy within the grave area is a bit flat sometimes. So I'm hopeful. Just got to keep. Um, trying that's all you can do keep trying it's well worth it as for the uh, the number of children i mentioned earlier on the uh, the sheer volume of youngsters that have lost their lives and been buried in this particular area it's uh, it, it's not good to be able to uh, dwell on uh, the the losses uh, you can actually uh, be a bit curious just have a look around to see how many you can find but then you've not got to let morbid curiosity take over and then beyond that it becomes an obsession to see how many you can find within the whole graveyard and then after that it, it starts to get uh, to you and plays on your heartstrings. I did find that I was being pulled at one stage to um, to keep seeing who was the youngest that I could find and how many. That's not a good thing, that's a negative so you've got to let go of the past. And uh, all I can say now is may your app and your God be your guide. As for me, I'm out.